one more time today. I'm coming on here one more time. I have a little bit more time before this garage door opens and I have to move all this stuff over and get it out of here. So I was hoping to get this done today. I think I will. I blended the whole thing. If you saw my earlier video, if not, check it out. Go back and check it out. Um, I am, okay, so I, I thought, well, let me show you what I was doing here because I had some ideas of what um, maybe to, to use to decorate. If you saw me earlier, I was talking about doing maybe um, decoupage. I talked about inlays. I talked about a lot of different things, but um, when it came right down to it, I thought, um, I, I actually, I'll show you a couple things that I thought about using. And when I brought it out, this is why you might want to decide maybe a plan for your piece instead of just jumping in. Although, you know, jumping in can be fun and creative and, and all that. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do, um, but the, the papers that I had at home here did not actually um, go with the, um, the color paint that I have here. So I was like, okay, well that's not gonna work. And then, um, so I was digging through all my stuff downstairs and I, um, I found <clears throat> this stencil that I've been wanting to use. So I thought, let me, let me pull this out and we'll, we'll use it. So um, anyway, I'm gonna be using a product called Raise It 3D um, and it's by Farmhouse. Actually, let me leave this on so I can see your comments. Um, but the other thing that's kind of cool is um, I actually ended up stenciling the drawers. So I'm gonna show you that quickly too because um, the drawers, I wanted to do a little something different but nothing like extreme. Although I did think about um, decoupaging the inside because like in the bottom part of the drawer, they're in pretty good shape. So I thought, well, I don't really need to do that. Um, so anyway, let me show you my, let me show you the, the, uh, the events that took place. So I have all the drawers out right now, but I'll turn this around again. And if you didn't see it earlier, watch, go back and watch. I used Zen Theory. I used Stone Gray and Cosmic White, all um, New Evolution colors by Farmhouse Paint. So I took the drawers out because I was doing something with them and I'm gonna do, I'll show you an example of what I did. But before I did that, I had a couple pieces of paper. Now, if this piece had more flat drawers and not all that detail, I think I definitely would have used this paper. It was really pretty on the front. Um, and it, it was like the perfect size. I would have had to cut, you know, some of this and some of the bottom, but it would have been really pretty and the color would have worked. But there's so many like little nooks and crannies and like ins and outs on this that I thought that that's a little bit more than what I can do to get it done for tomorrow. Um, the other one that I liked was the, this side. These are both recycled um, papers, but that wasn't the right color. That would have worked too, but the color wasn't right. So what I'm gonna be doing is I ended up blending the whole thing and I love the look on the front and once I put the drawers in, I'll show you that, but I'm gonna do a raised stencil on the side. And I, I, it was a post that recently I posted and so many people are commenting on it and I hadn't done it for a while. So it kind of reminded me, let's, let's try that again. Um, actually, let me untape this because what I do is I tape this on to get it set up. And I'm using this frog tape, so hopefully, because this paint just dried, so it's probably not the smartest thing to do, but you want to wait till it dries. But what I'm going to show you is on the sides of the drawers here, and actually I'll turn my camera down so you can see. Um, so on the sides, I took the, um, that big oval brush that I was using, a uh, big, big brush, XL I believe it is on my website. I think I put a, I think I put a link on the other video, but I can do that again on here too, if you're interested. But it's the one that I used to blend and I hadn't um, washed it out yet. I'm not even gonna tape this. I can actually hold it with one hand and um, use this brush as a stencil brush. Hopefully it still has some paint in it. If not, I can put some more on it. But um, I just lined this up to, to 
the top of this drawer here so that it's kind of straight. No, I don't have any paint on here. Let me just get a little bit on my brush here. And again, I'll let me make sure this is in the right spot. And because it's on the side of a drawer, I'm not totally concerned that it has to be perfect. But anyway, so this brush is actually perfect for doing something like this. This is a nice, this is called, um, it's a floor tile stencil. And I can put the link for this because this is a great one to use on a floor. If you ever, I mean, we've had a lot of people stamp their floor with the IOD stamp, but this one is a fun stencil. So that's what I did on the sides of the drawer. So that's an idea that you can do. And then um, I'm going to use this, move the drawer out of the way. And I'm gonna use this on the side of the drawer with the Raise It 3D, which is the farmhouse paint product. So, um, what I did is I'm, and I'm not gonna do like a full, actually let me turn this over. Um, I'm not gonna do the full thing on here, I'm kinda of gonna do it like a little bit random. And because it has this edge on here, I can line it up pretty, pretty good. Um, so it's nice and straight and then line it up to the top. So that's all I'm gonna do, put it there like that. What I have is, so this is the Raise It 3D. If you've never tried it, super easy to use. You can use it with, I mean, I've used it with lots of stencils. Um, it's actually one of the products I'll be teaching at the retreat in April. So um, it's something that you will be able to get your hands on and actually play with. This is um, an Iron Orchid Designs um, silicone paint spreader. I think it's called a spatula. I am not exactly sure of the name of it, but um, it works really good with this stuff. So um, what I'm gonna do is, it's kind, it's kind of like a frost, thick frosting consistency. All right, there we go, sorry. Um, Anyway, I'm going to um, use this to spread it. So you could, this is a little jar and this doesn't fit in here. So basically you could use a you know popsicle stick. This is just a little, um, some sort of little spatula. I don't even know where I got this thing, but it works good to kind of put this on. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna do full, like all these full, I'm gonna spread this. Um, and since this is coming off here, I think I'm just gonna use this and kind of like do a little bit randomness here. So I'm just gonna add this on here and then I'm going to spread it with this. And this is just so much fun. If you haven't tried this yet, I encourage you. Um, so like here, I didn't get this part here. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to do like a little bit, not the full, just so it's kind of maybe a little random. Now the other product that you could use for this is the, um, I'm wondering if you could use the crusting mix. I'm not sure how thick that would be, but you could try that as well. But this is made for uh, raised, like making a raised stencil. It's just the perfect product for this. So um, again, it's called Raise It 3D. I will have to put it in the link as well. It's not, I mean, it goes pretty far too. You don't have to, it, and the other thing too is actually now I'm thinking about it, instead of putting it on there, I could put it right on my little spatula here. Um, And then I'm going to uh, move this down. So I'm going to do a little bit down here in this corner. The other thing you can use is like a little um, scraper, but this is nice because it's super soft and it pliable. So it really gets in there. It's actually better than the thing that I taught last year at the retreat. So this is a great tool for using um, with the Raise It 3D. I'm going to do this little flower right here too. So, uh, I 
didn't do any in here. I'm just kind of doing the edge. I want to get that off there. Um, okay, so let's reveal and see what it looks like, and then I'll move this down. So basically, you just peel your stencil off. Now, okay, I like it. So see how it's kind of, uh, hopefully you can see there's, there's this here, but there's nothing in here. Um, now, because this is such a big stencil, I think I'm going to wait for this to dry because I don't want to put this on and then smush that up. Because um, I just want to add a few down here at the bottom. Um, but let me see if the other side is dry. And we can, let me put this down for a sec. Well, let me see if I can, let me see if I can put this down over here and turn this around. So, it's hard to see that, I wish I, I could put, well, I'll be taking pictures and you can see what I did, but the blending on the drawers with it on the front, it just, it, it turned out pretty cool and I don't know if I'm gonna, actually maybe what I could do is just put a couple ornaments, like, a little bit on my drawer here and there if I wanted to. Okay, so let's do this side now. Grab my stencil and line it up here on this side. Actually, let's do it again this way because then it's less for me to clean since this is already gooked up. Okay. So, so the whole, the, having the tape hold it in place. Um, oops. So I'm gonna just add, <laughs> add a little bit onto my spatula here, onto my little thing here. And just spread it on here. The other thing with this um, little silicone thing, I think you get less waste because it really basically gets everything that's not going into the stencil part. did this, I thought, is this really going to show up? But it really does. Um, it really works well. If you saw the post with the damask um, stencil that I used on that gray piece, that was the first piece that I ever used this product on, and it, it turned out really cool. So my intention is, once this dries, I will do a light coat of probably the um, Zen Theory over it and then dry brush with the other colors to kind of pick up the, um, the stenciled area. So technically I could have done this when I did the second coat, but I mean, in, like do the first coat, do the stencil, and then um, do the second coat with the blending and everything because, um, you know, you really have to paint over this. So I could have done that. If I was thinking ahead, but you know, again, sometimes I fly by the seat of my pants and what I'm doing here. Let's see. I think I'll get that one up there. And let's do, let's do this random one here. And so when you first, when I first, you know, pull this off and it looks a little bit funny because maybe you only have part of one here, part of one there, but when you paint the whole thing, it really pulls it all together. Uh, let's see here. I'll do, let's just do these guys right here. I think that's it. I'm gonna let this dry. I'll put the drawers back in so you can see what the blending turned out like. So I'm going to, um, 
I'll put that in my, I have a big sink in my laundry room and I'll just scrub it with the scrubby sponge and all that stuff will come right off. Um, so you can see here, I don't have anything in here. Um, in fact, maybe I'll use like a kindest regards or I don't know, something, we'll see. Maybe I'll leave it, once I paint it, I'll know. Um, but I didn't do the inside yet. That, that'll be the project for the morning maybe. But so when I was saying that I blended, one of, when we blended all this, I did it with the drawers in because I wanted it to kind of all pull together. Um, and I wanted it to flow nicely. I didn't want it to look like it was, each one was done separately. So. Let's see, that one might be in the wrong spot. It is sometimes good to number your drawers. These seem to be all the same size, but sometimes certain ones fit better in certain spots. tops of the drawers because they did get a little bit of paint on them. Like I said, I want them to go um, fit in there nicely. So, um, okay. So anyway, I like it. I, I have the um, knobs, the poles that I've cleaned and I'll add them back on. I'll probably just use the original. They're kind of like an oil rubbed bronze color. Although I'm thinking maybe painting them gold now that I'm looking at this. They would really look pretty on there, so I probably will paint them gold. You will see pictures tomorrow, and um, my staging wall is totally covered with furniture, so maybe this will be staged inside my house. <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, thanks for popping on again today, my third video today, and I will be on tomorrow. Not sure um, when, but I will be um, back on tomorrow, and uh, not sure what I'll be painting. Um, if you are out and about this weekend, I forgot to mention, I'm going to be at Consign and Design in Broomall, Pennsylvania, um, doing a little paint demonstration, um, 12 to 2. Um, so I will be there and um, demonstrating painting and probably a transfer. So um, if you're out that direction, come see me at Consign and Design. It's on Westchester Pike in Broomall. Have a great day. And remember, if you have questions about anything, please message me. And if you are interested in the retreat, Sign up today. It'll be a lot of fun. Bye.